Miles Morales is Miles Morales is a phrase I've been seeing a lot the past couple of days now. And admittedly, my first thought was no duh, that's how proper nouns work. Upon further examination, I realized that it's just a roundabout way to express that a person doesn't believe Miles Morales is Spider-Man, which is obviously false. I think it's really odd that people have had such a visceral reaction to Miles Morales being Spider-Man. It really highlights how DC, and especially Marvel fans, don't understand how comics work. The overwhelming majority of comic book characters have multiple versions, or different characters will also be the same named hero. Take Batman for example. Traditionally, Batman is Bruce Wayne, a Caucasian male whose parents were murdered in Crime Alley, trains with Rachel Ghoul, and becomes the Dark Knight. Bruce Wayne, most times, is Batman, but Terry McGinnis is also Batman. But unlike Bruce, Terry is half Asian and has a different backstory. Dick Grayson was also Batman at one point. Even Bruce's father, Thomas Wayne, has been Batman. Lucius Fox's son, Tim Fox, has also been Batman. Each one of these characters is Batman. Now, each one of these characters obviously is not Bruce Wayne, but just because they aren't Bruce Wayne doesn't mean that they're not Batman. It would be weird if the title for Batman Beyond was instead Batman, but not really because Bruce Wayne isn't Batman, it's Terry McGinnis, Terry McGinnis Beyond. That's the great thing about comics and comic book characters. They can be reinvented or reimagined. What if Batman was in the future? What if Batman was a ninja? What if Batman was in medieval times? In the antimatter universe, Thomas and Martha Wayne had two sons, Thomas Jr. and Bruce Wayne. Thomas Sr. was a police officer when the mob attempted to murder his family, killing Martha and Bruce. Thomas Jr. then grew up to become Owlman, the evil version of Batman, and his prime adversary in Gotham was his father, Commissioner Wayne. So what's the point of me mentioning all of this? Well. Comic book characters have dozens of different versions. Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart are both Green Lanterns and exist in the same universe, but can't exist without each other. So being upset that Miles Morales is one of the many Spider-Men is kind of dumb. And the idea that Spider-Man can only be played by one race is relatively archaic. While not the original reason, Spider-Man's full suit allows anyone to imagine themselves being Spider-Man, more so than most other heroes. That was literally one of Stan Lee's favorite things about Spider-Man's design. You know one of the greatest things about Spider-Man's outfit, his costume? What? He is completely covered. So any kid could imagine he's Spider-Man because no color of the skin shows. He could be black under that. He could be red, he could be yellow, he could belong to any race. And that True. wasn't done purposely, it was done accidentally. But I think it was the best thing we did, making him so that he could be anybody under that costume. Of course kids often identify with characters that are different from them. I wanted to be Goku despite not being a Saiyan raised on Earth. If you don't like Miles, Miguel, Hobie, or this guy, I can't pronounce his name so I'm not gonna try, that's fine. If you like Peter Parker the most, that's fine. But when it comes to a kid's movie and you say that every Spider-Man has to be a white male, that seems relatively racially motivated. If the argument was that Peter Parker has to be a white male, I'd understand. At the end of the day, if you don't like the movies, just don't watch them. Comic book related media will continue to hit reboots or reimaginings. And I just don't see the issue with a new character being created that is Spider-Man of his universe. I'm all about respecting the source material, which is why I would be confused if they made Peter Parker some other race or changed other details about him for seemingly no reason. To me, the quality of the media is more important than the color palette they use to design the character. Also, here's my Spider-Man movie tier list. I'm correct, you're wrong, be mad about it.